Welcome! We spent the last couple of days getting used to our sewing machines. The first day we spent on paper with no thread just to get used to how our sewing machines feel. Then we went on and threaded our machines, took a piece of fabric and used some of the different techniques on the machine. Today we're moving on to the first construction step and that's actually taking your fabric and sewing it together. The first thing you want to do is take your 8 inch wide strip of fabric and cut two 3 inch wide strips. And you're going to match the edges, the long edges, and then you're going to pin it together. And pinning is a real skill. You want to pin perpendicular. And I think if you put three pins in, that's plenty for this distance, but put in whatever you feel comfortable with. Make sure your edges are even. and then you're ready to get started sewing. And sometimes it just takes practice to get used to your pinning. We're going to sew a 5 8 inch seam. Remember you have a mark on the side of your fabric. We want to start about a half an inch in. We're going to put our needle in, our presser foot down, and we're going to go in reverse for about a half an inch at the back. And that holds your seam together. If you don't do a back stitch, it tends to pull apart. Go right over that line of stitching. Take out your pins as you get to them. Even if you don't hit a pin, you can still damage the pins and the needles by just dinging the edge of it. So it's a good idea to take out your pins as you get to them. Stop. Take out your pins. Put them in your pin cushion. When you get to the end, stop. Back stitch about a half an inch. Needle up. Take your fabric out, trim your threads, and you've sewn a, a seam. Okay. Then what we want to do next is zigzag the edges. This provides, um, this provides a seam finish. So set your machine to zigzag, however you set it on your machine, turn your dial, press your button, and we're just stitching on the edge of the fabric, okay, just on the edge. We're not sewing it down to anything, it's just the edge. You want to sew close to the edge but not right on the edge, so set your zigzag, and sometimes it helps to do a little bit shorter width and length. Um, my width is about a two and a half, my length is about a two, that way it doesn't pinch so much. Hold your threads and then just zigzag down the side. So you're going to do one side and then the other. And just go to the edge and stop before you run off so things don't punch up. Take it out, needle up, trim your threads, and then do the other side. And we're just doing that part. Okay, I'm not sewing it down. So then we'll do the other side. And this gives it a nice neat finish in a garment so that it doesn't ravel or fray through wear and washing. It's one of the many seam finishes you can use and we'll talk about more later in the term. threads. The next step, once you've sewn both of the zigzags, and remember they're not attached to the garment, what you want to do next is press. Pressing is one of the most important techniques in sewing. You want to press this flat the way you've sewn it, and that's called setting your seams. And then what you'll do once it's flat, you will press it open. Okay, so when you press it open, it looks nice and neat like this finished sample that I have. When you get your, gar your sample finished, what you'll do is submit it on Blackboard with your evaluation sheet, and then when you're done, 
you will take your sample sheet and mount this on your sample sheet. And that's all there is to do to sewing a sample seam.